And now, to present the award for civil engineering, please welcome Brigadier General Mark Toy, South Pacific Division Commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Army Strong. Where some see chaos, Dr. Noberto C. Nadal Caraballo sees patterns. A genius in statistics and coastal engineering, his work brings predictability to Mother Nature's most powerful forces. Dr. Nadal Caraballo's research with the Coastal and Hydraulics Laboratory, CHL, has helped many federal, state, and local agencies take a proactive approach to flood risk, protecting millions of people who live and work along U.S. coastlines. In 2014, Dr. Nadal Caraballo used statistical methodologies to characterize the flood risk for the regions affected by Hurricanes Sandy and Ike. He applied that methodology to three coastal regions, Great Lakes, North Atlantic, and Texas. The results provided, for the first time, a comprehensive and accurate understanding of flood risk for most of the U.S. coastline. Early in his career at CHL, he designed StormSim, a software system for the statistical analysis of extreme coastal hazards due to hurricanes and extra tropical storms. StormSim is being used by a number of U.S. Army Corps of Engineers software programs. Dr. Nadal Caraballo has participated in a wide range of research activities over his career. One ongoing project focuses on rapid prediction of flood and wave response for oncoming hurricanes. Emergency responders can now run flood scenarios in real time as hurricane tracks shift and storm characteristics change. These models have the potential to save lives, reduce emergency response times, and significantly improve emergency response staging effectiveness. Honored guests, it is my privilege to present the award for civil engineering to Dr. Norberto C. Nadal Caraballo. He is Army Strong. Good evening. Uh, I am extremely honored to have been chosen as the recipient of the Civil Engineering Award. Growing up, my role model, my inspiration, was my mother. Even though she was not a scientist or an engineer, she taught me that when you believe in yourself and aim high, the sky is your limit. As Hispanics, we often face other challenges, such as the language barrier and cultural differences. Therefore, it is our responsibility to be role models and to inspire others within our community. We need to encourage our children and youth to embrace every challenge, as these are just opportunities to show our world. We must ignite a passion for knowledge and transform this passion into more active participation in STEM fields. Do not let anything discourage you or undermine your dreams. Know that you can be professionally as good or, or better than anyone else. Always give your best. Thank you. Yeah,